No. You want to see something? <laughs> Welcome to Randy's House of Horrors. Uh. Welcome to Randy's House of Horrors. Yeah. Um. I I did the construction on this. Um. It. I never finished this wall. Fuck. Um. Some things need fine tuning. But um. Welcome to Randy's house. This is what he wanted. This is something Randy wanted. I'm mostly working on this side of the house now. Um, I had it all, uh... I had it all laid out. Um... I had it all laid out perfectly but then new stuff came in the catalog so I decided to do that and you know what I'm not even gonna bother decorating it because uh he hasn't paid maintenance fees so the house is probably gonna be screwed soon <gasps> oh, I kind of want the impaler. I just wanted to drive the dominator. I feel like I've heard the term before, but I don't know what a drop attack is. Look at the catalog at autos. Because you know what a good thing to do when you are uh, in an emotional state is going car shopping. Actually, I want to look at something real quick. JB's report. Coco and Shen falling shootout. Pontius. Bias on stable. Major blood loss. What?
that's fair. That's also fair. Maintenance fees on bikes aren't too bad. I will say that. Um, the the maintenance fees aren't too bad. I think for a bike they're like three grand, but V knows that Logan did their best. Um, she will never fault any medic for their treatment unless they were grossly negligent. My time on duty today, I think I went on two calls before going off duty. Um, because there was no way she could stay on duty and I'm so glad I got in on my own ticket today. I hate that it was today though, because I had things to do out of character. V desperately needs a pickup. It's also why uh, we're currently running to autos, because we're going to see... Jesus. That's insanity. I'm sorry that happened. Usually when shit like that happens and I'm 10-7, <clears throat> I will come back from being 10-7 just to deal with that scene and then go back to being 10-7 and doing whatever I need to get done. Because unless it's something like I absolutely can't get out of, like a, you know, PD thing or something like that, if something like that pops off, I try to get out of it as quickly as possible to get V there or get any units on it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I forgot this was called Casey's Diner. Maybe. Um, the thing with the terror is the terror is on a 24 hour investigative hold. And to be honest, I'm not sure PD has enough.
I kind of hope the tear, um, Damn. There. I'm just chilling looking at I had uh Oh Hi, Waylon. Where's the closest clothing store? But Oh, well, I hope you're having a good night, Waylon. V is not having a good night. She is. Her brother's in the ICU. Her daughter's in the ICU. 
Kiki got attacked by the terror. Um, I'm missing something. Uh, Charlotte went and talked to the terror. Which V is not thrilled about. I'm upsetting spaghetti that I missed that phone call though. Uh, Joshua Beretta is her adopted brother. Um, I'm upsetting spaghetti that I missed the phone call from the terror. Like, oh, see, I know that's who it was. I have an idea for V right now. Thank you for the follow, Elin. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, her her adopted brother is Joshua Beretta, who is a cop. V is more readily open with her sisters too because her sisters understand her on a level everyone else doesn't. I think all of them do also feel other people's not burdens, but feel for other people too much and take on so much of other people's hurt. Even Charlotte, 
and they they are all really good at giving others advice really bad at taking advice from others Ooh, I kind of want to go blonde again okay but V blonde Or even just a dirty blonde. I kind of vibe with it again. Ooh, that's a nice purple. Oh, <laughs> they all are worried about tag. I mean, probably for good reason. What are you up to? I'm uh, waiting for Charlie. What's up? Uh, nothing. Do you not want to be alone? I don't know what I want. You want me to drive over to you? I don't know. I'm heading back know. to Mirror Park. I tried to go get Randy's car, but motherfucker isn't awake enough to pay his maintenance fees. Oh, of course not. You know, Lennon said tonight, no matter what, Luna and I are family. Aww. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me! It has a belly button. Alright. Um, do you... I'm gonna ask, and you can answer this honestly. Because, you know, depending on your answer. Do you want me to go over there? Um, we don't even have to talk. I'm gonna make my way to your part. I, I know they meant well. I know they did. I really just needed to be alone. I know. I don't like breaking in front of other people, Ash. I know you don't. And I just needed time to I know. break. And I'm surprised that they haven't learned that by now. I know. Me drinking isn't a good thing. But I don't think even the longest reigning sober person in the world could deal with the bullshit that we've been dealing with for the past. I know. 
I'm not even- I wasn't even gonna mention anything about your drinking. I can't talk when I got blackout drunk the other night in my own house. Um... All I'm gonna say is if you're going to do that, just make sure you have- you're just- make sure you're in a safe place. Yeah, I don't think near the quarry is safe, but it- <laughs> No, wasn't the not. place we were gonna check. You know, the overpass bridge off Palomino near the quarry. Yes, I do. I planted myself under that because I knew they were never going to check there. They found me at the Mirror Park liquor store, just, at, you know, right before you enter Mirror Park. As I was buying alcohol, and I took off, and I think they gave chase, but I lost them because they were in a bison, and I was on a body. And to throw them off even more, so I looped around, pulled a Yui, looped around, and took Palomino. Because no one ever takes Palomino. Yeah, no one ever takes Palomino. <laughs> Kiki did talk to me a little bit today in text, but it was after Luna went into the ICU. Um, Cause I texted her that Luna was in surgery. She'll be okay. I know. She has to be. Same with JB. Yeah, I we memed on JB because it's JB and <laughs> I know. But I don't know, I had a feel I have a feeling if he you know, on a spiritual level, if the spirit didn't have an engagement tonight, JB would have been just fine. But I said that motherfucker had the audacity to go in the ICU when I'm on my own picket for once. And could have done a ride along with him in the last hour or two of the storm. <laughs> but I looked at the report and it seems like it's just an overnight stay as a precaution. So that's good. He got I'm shot in the okay. face. Oh my god. Uh, I think Logan might have been the medic. Mm. It was a massive okay. scene. Right as I was getting on duty, it was like in the middle of all that. And then I saw Surrey 311 that 448 was 1042 due to going into the ICU, and I sped all the way down to Brucey. Yeah, Surrey um, texted me about JB being in the ICU. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm on his emergency contacts you are. or not. Okay. Um, but, uh. Kiki got attacked by the terror today. Apparently! What did she say to me? I'll tell you what she said to me. Um, because I texted her while I was drunk. Um, the first time today, because there's been several times. She said, I'm fine. I was more annoyed by him than anything. I tried to outweird him by telling him I text death on the regular, so I have nothing to be scared of. I think it worked a little. Hmm. Um, this stays between us, but Charlotte said that they, uh, Charlotte says they might have caught him. The dumbass also went up to prison and I don't know if she spoke with Casey or spoke with him or something. I can't remember at this point. But she was trying to beat around the bush with me and I'm like, dude. Why beat around the bush with that? <laughs> that, and it's just... She... She's putting herself in danger. The more she gets involved with Casey, the more she gets involved with this, she's putting herself in danger. Yeah, pretty because much. Because if it is the terror that they caught today, she's just making she's just giving him more of a reason to go after her if if it if charges don't stick. She's 
just giving him all the more reason. I got a call from Bolingbrook that I miss around the time Charlotte evidently was up at heading up towards the prison. Hmm. It was I don't know who it was. Could have been Casey, could have been anyone really. Been Kenneth for all I know. True. In a moment of weakness, I plotted out that the terror won. Everyone. Charlotte says he hasn't won, but look at me. I'm a mess. Isn't that what he wanted? Break me? Oh, congratulations, because I'm fucking broken. Hello. Hello. You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Alrighty. Yep. Just checking. You were limping and walking. Yeah, I uh, had a run in with the quarry today. Oh, sick. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Yep. I think it was holding checking in on me because I was limping. Gotcha. I don't think he recognized me because I just threw on a black wig. Yeah. Fitting the mood. Garby, thank you for the raid. Hello. He's having a bit of a, a breakdown at the moment. I, I don't even know Can't what to say. You're already broken. <laughs> I'm kind of processing everything you just said. Um. The thing is. If they did catch him... Prison's not gonna stop him. No, it's not. Because he can do exactly what Casey's doing. Try to find connections. Didn't like that I told him he was an amateur much. I still maintain that he's an amateur if the best he could do is slice Happy's femoral artery and stab Kiki Pendragon. If that's the best he can do, then he is amateur hour. He got lucky getting us. I will maintain that until my dying breath. He was lucky. And that's it. Yeah, I guess. 